in a lot of places, the value chains are immature or sometimes just don't even, even exist for certain materials that are crucial to the energy transition. Um, that's great for China. They made tremendous investments, and those investments are paying off. They had an industrial strategy that was looking to the future on this. But now we're all in this position of being somewhat beholden. Um, you saw that in the US IRA that passed back in 2022. It was very focused on revitalizing American manufacturing, creating new value chains in the clean energy space. But the issue is, is that's going to take time and cost money. And so I'm concerned about this trade-off between cheap and immediate and Chinese versus wanting to have new value chains in the West, however you want to define that today. Um, but that's going to take longer and perhaps cost more money. Um, just to close my comments on this question, if you look at a couple of the companies that do um, energy scenarios looking forward, and there are quite a few of them, several of those look at um, a very bifurcated or um, divided world. And the thing that they point out is that that slows the energy transition. And I think that is the world that I see us headed towards, unfortunately.